Okay, uh, hello ladies and gents. This is my halogen standing lamp that uh, I think I showed you before. So, it simply plugs in here, cable to a dimmer unit, to the lamp, and at the top there is a linear halogen lamp there. So it's 230 watts, uh, produces about 5,000 lumens of light. Well, I'm going to show you a five-minute mod that you can do that will increase the light output by nearly 20%, perhaps nearly near 40%, while simultaneously reducing the energy consumption by 75%. So, and it all comes down to new lighting technology. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out the light bulb and uh, for a more efficient one. The lamp I'm going to be using, it's um, a double-ended 70-watt metal halide lamp. So it's 118 millimetres long and it takes an R7S fitting, which is exactly the same as the linear halogen, so we can actually just swap it out. It's a little bit wider, but there is actually enough clearance in the light fitting to install it. Metal halide lamps don't run on normal 200 volt or 230 volt house current, is we need a ballast. So here we are, this electronic ballast is made by Philips. Um, these go for about 80 quid. Uh, normally I got it on eBay for I think four quid plus uh, two quid postage and it's a pretty nice device. So what we'll do is we'll connect this in and we'll change the lamp. Okay, so the lamp is held in with these little screw clips here. So what we'll do, we'll just unscrew those and we'll take the glass cover off. The cover comes off. And the halogen is Okay, there's a little little filling sort of nipple here on the lamp. Um, I'm going to put this down uh, because I'm not sure if it'll clear the uh, glass cover. So uh, in it goes. And that end looks like it's in as well. Okay, good. So glass cover goes back on. and uh, we screw it back in place. Deal with the uh, dimmer, so uh, it's just a matter of unscrewing the dimmer and removing the wires. So uh, we'll do that, it's nice and easy. So there you can see the dimmer circuits, simple potentiometer, fuse, uh, filter, triac, and the uh, diac, um, the AC diode triggering circuit there. So we'll just uh, remove these wires and plug them into the ballast. HID PVC 070 slash ICDM made by Philips. Lift it up and you've got some pressed down terminal covers so just drop the connection to the light uh, into the labelled slots. Simply push down, push the wire in. Oops. So now I just do the same thing for the uh, main supply which goes in like that. Now we push down and push in. That's the uh, lamp wire and the mains wire now connected to these screwless terminals, close the flap and uh, we just plug it in and see what happens. There we go, lighting up. So there we have it, the final item. 6,000 lumen light for 70 watts of power. A bit of a reduction from 230. And it's a pretty nice light, it's very white. This is actually a 4000K um, HID lamp, so it's slightly whiter than your normal halogen. But uh, it's still reasonable, it's not blue like those cheap um, HID lights that you get in uh, cars and stuff. So this is pretty nice. Um, and it, the only problem is it takes a little time to warm up. It takes about a minute to come up to full brightness. So it's in, that, it's in that way it's a bit like your... Um, compact fluorescent bulbs, it has a warm-up time, but the warm-up is a bit more pronounced. Um, and the other problem is, is, which is actually really annoying, so you have to be very careful where you choose to put this light, is that if you unplug it, like so, and then plug it back in again, the light does not come back on. If we look at it, it is completely extinguished, and that is because the lamp is not able to start up um, while the lamp is hot. So it needs about two or three minutes of cool down time before it will restart. 
and then of course once it's cooled down and it's restarted it needs another minute or so to come up to full power but uh, it cuts your energy consumption by 75% and it's pretty nice light so uh, in some cases uh, this might well be a useful mod